Good morning everybody, it's Chad from The Right Line and today we're gonna go work on the trailer. Stay tuned. I just wanted to uh, get back into working on the trailer here. It's been a couple weeks since I've worked on it and the last time I was out here working on it I have to apologize because the camera that I had, I dropped it and broke the lens, so I couldn't videotape anything that I was doing. So let me catch up to speed on where I was last time. So last time I started on the rack that goes over the trailer to support the rooftop tent. Got it all finished up, obviously. Still some finish work that needs to be done, but here's where I left off last time. Built a framework, bolts to the trailer, so I can take it off, put that rooftop tent right up here, clamp it down, and then it's ready to go. What are we working on today? Okay, well, uh, for starters, I wanna put little gussets in here on these joints, and so I ordered some uh, laser cut gussets from Ballistic Fabrication. And um, also the plan is that I'm gonna hang some camp lights off the bottom of the, um, the rack here. So what I've done is I bought these little trick tabs from Ballistic Fabrication. They weld on like basically like that and then there's a hole there for you to bolt on your lights. The thing that we're gonna try to get done today is I'm gonna put stabilizer jacks right here on the back of the trailer so that in camp when this is parked and I'm crawling in and out of it, I don't have a trailer that tips up and down. So let's get started. to put these trick tabs. I wanted to have camp lights because because in the box in the bed of the trailer here I'm gonna have a work box a toolbox and I'm thinking I'm gonna put these tabs on the back side of these bars so that the lights are flashing down into the toolbox without being exposed out here. That's what happens when you don't do a substantial tack weld. <clears throat> I put that bead on top and then I realized when I put a light in there, how am I supposed to put the nut on top? So. I just kind of ground that down there a bit. Now I got room for the nut when I bolt, when I bolt my light up. Always got to think two steps ahead. I forgot to mention the toolbox. That's going to be the new toolbox inside the trailer. along to these uh, stabilizer jacks. I wanted to put these stabilizer jacks on because in the trailer I had before, there was a problem when you obviously stood inside the trailer. If you didn't have it hooked up to the back of your vehicle, it would start to tip. So in camp, I don't want that to happen.
getting hot. I mean, I know we got a little bit of a swamp cooler going on in here, but it's hot and I'm done. I got done what I planned to get done. Got my stabilizer jacks welded on. Now, that's removable so it doesn't stay on, of course. It's removable. Got my light tabs welded on. Now I can have some lights inside. And I mounted my toolbox. Um, now, does the toolbox fit exactly the way I want it to? No, but it suits my needs. Toolbox. So now I've got a box here in the front of the trailer. This would be for camping gear at some point in the future. In this corner, I'm going to have a deep cycle marine battery, uh, probably with an inverter. Uh, I did find a solar panel, a 100 watt solar panel from Goal Zero at Overland Expo here just a few weeks ago. So at some point, I'll be doing a video on that, uh, unboxing and see how that goes. Um, but yeah. One step at a time. One step at a time. It's coming along really nice. Almost done with fabrication, and then at some point I'll be working on getting it painted. If you like what you see, please like and share. If you haven't subscribed or you're finding me for the first time, please consider subscribing. And I'll see you again next time. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.